Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Sarmatian campaign for EU4. So, there's a little bit of a war going on over here between Herman Dury and some stuff. <clears throat> That's interesting. Doesn't affect us. We're just waiting on cores. Military access from Denmark. Sure. You can march through my lands, Denmark, who I have not yet met. The Picts. Basically Scotland. Okay, we've got a core. Still, we need... a couple more years for the truce. I think we just power through it. Just let the time go. Unfortunately, our power projection has slipped. We'll need to take territory from... Oh, you know what? We're not embargoing the um, the Romans. Han, Marcomanni, and the Romans. We embargo Han. We're not embargoing Marcomanni, but I think we have a truce with them. Let's, let's embargo the Romans. And that brings us back up to 54. Good. I think it's interesting how the Romans are basically just leaving... leaving us alone. Okay, we've got our land attrition minus 20%. And if I'm not mistaken, don't we have another... another benefit somewhere, maybe from being a horde to attrition? Better relations... no. No, no, no. No, I guess not. Syria was just full annexed. So the Romans are actually going to just recombine and just become a new, you know, just connect their damn borders again. I want your lands, Lombardi. Of course, they're allied with Marcomani, so we could get even more power projection by taking from Marcomani. You know what we should do is um, we'll declare on Marcomani. Wait, Marcomani's in the coalition. Never mind. If we do that, the Romans will defend him. What if we just took land from Marcomani? Eight plus six is fourteen. Seventeen. That's that's pretty good. 17 base tax. We can handle 19, so. And we've already got claims on all of it, right? Okay, we'll declare war on Lombardy, and then we'll take those three provinces instead of these three. They're in a different node, but who cares? I'm not really trying to take territory based on nodes anymore anyway. Let's go ahead and hire another general. Another Bayuka. That'll have the added advantage of um, combining us with Suebi, which means we'll be able to integrate them. So let's go ahead and start improving relations with them. The Romans are at war with Byzantium. No. <laughs> no, Romans. We will not give you military access. Absolutely not. Let's uh, get our morale up. Our truce ends in six months. I guess we don't need to do it yet. Holy crap, we're actually making money. Wow. I'm amazed. Did I lose like a ton of troops? No. I think the difference is just that, um, you know, we've got some revolt risk in most places, so being overextended increases revolt risk everywhere, which decreases income by a little bit everywhere. And so when we're not overextended, our income goes up by a lot. If we could afford to boost stability, that would also help us out with cash flow. 
All right, now it's time to get our power up. Damn it, I needed that claim. We'll shoot. I'm going to take this army. And we're going to march straight for their capital, because that's probably where their troops are. And we're going to take these armies and just spread them out. We'll do a speed five war. Ready? Go. Get him. I said get him. Get him. Oh, that's a big stack. Okay. Um. Keep all of our troops nearby-ish. Look at that 5% attrition that he's suffering. We'll kill that army for sure. Oh, he's attacked me. Okay. Well, in that case, um... Detach, reinforce, detach, reinforce, detach and move, detach and move. I don't know that we'll be able to reinforce that army. But let's go now with these remaining armies. Yes, we were able to reinforce. Good. So the defender in both cases. Now we're way, way over force limit here. We've carpet sieged quite a bit of their territory. Um, let's send you to there. These guys are going to retreat in to that location. We'll send whatever army can go there to there. Hope that we can stack wipe it. And if not, that's okay too. Part of their army retreated westward, which might cause some problems up here. We definitely need to start sieging these three war goals. Could probably end the war right now, actually, if we had them occupied. So let's keep Bay, uh... Don't we have some siege value? Palicus, yes. Bayuka's a two-shock general. Let's let him get some morale, and then we'll have him move. Hmm... This 8 and 9 stack make me a bit nervous. Okay, you've got your morale. Go fight on our own territory. Come on. Nice. You even found planes. What a wonderful man. Yeah, that's not good. We don't need these sieges, so let's just break them. Go try to protect that army. If they can get there in time, that'd be nice. If not, that's okay too. This is Marco Manny's army, so it's probably going to retreat back to the capital if I had to guess. Oh, actually, it may have just retreated one, one province over. We did lose that fight. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. We're still at 32%. Part of the army reinforced. A bit late. We'll just have it retreat and go... Go away. We're under attack there. Let's, uh... Have you go that way. That looks like the stack from Marco Mane. It did get some morale, but let's let's try to try to kill it while it has no morale. Yeah, we'll hire the engineer. He's gonna retreat directly into Swebby. So he should die.
Nope, he's actually shattering. Okay, now we just need this territory to get sieged down and we can end the war. Thirty-five percent, twenty-one percent, negative twenty-one. I mean, these sieges are all fine and dandy, but that's not what I'm looking for. You know? Come on! I also don't want to take this fight. Why are we fighting here? It seems like a terrible idea. There we go. Come on, dude. You're the guy with siege value. You should, shouldn't should be beat by just an un, unmanned army. <laughs> he still... he still fails. He's so slow. We just can't seem to stack wipe. There we go. That's how you remove a huge number of troops from the war. Go back to defending that one. Hey, we finally did it. And we just got our claim on that province. Let's move him in there. Finish that siege. Thank you. Nice timing. And now I want these three provinces for a total of 68%, plus the 24 permanent overextension we have from Ferrara, equals less than 100, and we take territory from our rival, which gives us enough to keep power projection up. And we're done with our war. We'll start the coring process. We'll pick up another idea. National Manpower Modifier. Very good. Four defense plus ten. That'll be nice. And Byzantium was just full annexed by the Romans. So yeah, they are not taking too long. It's like a race. Who can conquer faster? Probably them. Of course, we have plenty of manpower, and I could get another 15 regiments. But, So, I don't really know what to do from here now, aside from continuing to rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. We just, every every couple years, we take 20 base tax. What are we up to now, anyway? 498. That's pretty good. I'm not bothering to convert because our chances are pretty low. Actually, you know, 50% is pretty good. Let's go for it. We have pretty good conversion speed here. 1.9%. Apparently the Germanics are pretty easy to convert. And we're... Healthily above 50. I wonder if we have more than the Romans do. Damn, look at that stupid attrition again.
And they've declared war on Greece. All that work, I'm just going to conquer it all back. Not worth it, I think, to fight them. Not in a heads-up war. And they don't seem to be wasting all their men on um, military. Like, without the AI being smart enough to do Scorched Earth, I don't think that the Romans are going to lose their army like they do when they fight us. That's what we really need. Traditions of the Great Khan. Another 20% on top of our 15. My gosh, that would be good. Um, when do we get this? At Tech 30. So it's going to be a long time until that's actually available, but it would be pretty damn good. So assuming we're still healthily above 50... The next war would be for these three. But I think we lost some of the claims. Oh, we lost all of the claims. Time to get started, then. Oh, right, and we can integrate you now that we connect. <laughs> we'll just wait until he's up to 65, then send him a gift. A lot faster. We could game his system a bit by retracting and sending the, uh, the guy multiple times, but it's too much work. Besides, we can use the Roman war chest for funsies. Got our cores. Truce timer? 331. Eight more years. Hmm. And they're still not in the coalition, so... Probably better to attack this guy. Oh, he's allied with Denmark. That's perfect. We want to attack him so we can discover Denmark, so we can go and attack... Go check this whole area out. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Eventually, there is going to be a, another big war with the Romans because they are just recombining all their territory. So much for the Roman Empire falling apart, right? Should stop rivaling me so I could sell them that stupid province. Should never have accepted it. What a waste. Alright, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.